chocolate. Oh my god. So much chocolate came through. Welcome back to Lost Monarch Week. Today we're going to talk about fat washing bourbon or whiskey. Fat washing. You know, until just recently, I'd never even heard of this term. Well, basically what it is, is you can, you can fat wash a bourbon to add flavor and fatty acids and congeners from fatty things into the bourbon. Now, typically this is done in the cocktail world and this is done to enhance cocktails and add flavors to them. So that's literally what we're gonna do with these in a subsequent video, but I fat washed some Lost Monarch. And these are the results, okay? So this one was a bacon fat wash and this was a dark chocolate fat wash. So what you do is you take some of your whiskey and some bacon grease and you put them together in a mason jar. And I did a little more whiskey than fat. I've seen recipes from different people that are doing 50-50, but I didn't, I didn't want to go crazy. I didn't want to go ham. So I did a little more whiskey than bacon and you put it in your mason jar, shake it up real good and you let it sit on a counter for at least an hour and you want to shake it a couple times you want that fat really mixed in with your whiskey then what you do is you take your mason jar and you put it in the freezer now what will happen is the whiskey won't freeze the bacon grease will solidify and and clump up but it's going to leave some of its chemical presence behind in the whiskey. And some of the whiskey will be left behind in the bacon grease. So that's what I did here. And same thing for the chocolate. I did a Lily's dark chocolate and 70 something percent. I didn't do the super, super dark chocolate because I don't like that. I don't like super dark chocolate. So I, I did a, a mildly dark chocolate. Same thing, I melted it down in a double boiler and poured it in and I did the same more whiskey to chocolate. <clears throat> same again into a mason jar, shake it up, let it sit for an hour, shake it a few times during that hour, really get that chocolate mixed in into the freezer. The chocolate will freeze and solidify, the whiskey will stay liquid, but leaving behind some of each other in each other. So then you pull your mason jars out after 24 hours or after they're really nicely frozen. You, you know, depending on how cold your freezer is, maybe it takes longer, but my freezer is pretty cold. So I was able to do this in one day. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want some sort of way to strain it. Now I used coffee filters inside of a pour over coffee brewer. I found this on Amazon. It was a, just a couple bucks. I don't even remember the name of it. I still don't know the name of it. It's in cursive, but it looks weird. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to tell you because I'll screw it up. Anyway, I put that over top of a rocks glass and I poured my concoction through the coffee filter. The whiskey dripped through into the glass and then I transferred in these little baby mason jars and then the bacon grease I retained in this mason jar. So that's Lost Monarch bacon grease in there. And this is Lost Monarch chocolate sauce. Now, some of your whiskey stays behind in the chocolate sauce. And holy heck, does that smell good? And also in the bacon grease. I could smell just hints of the Lost Monarch there in the bacon grease. So what we're gonna do today, I'm not gonna taste the bacon grease because No, we're gonna taste the bacon washed Lost Monarch. We're gonna taste the chocolate washed Lost Monarch. Now, 
Look at the color difference between these two. This got very, very yellow. Um, yeah, Lost Monarch is is more golden, but this this definitely was affected by the bacon, and and it's really yellow. It's like apple juice color, and this is hella dark red, dark red, beautifully dark red from the chocolate. Now I will say, if you if you look at these at the fill level on these. More whiskey was lost to the chocolate than to the bacon grease. Now, there's some whiskey was lost to the bacon grease. You can see uh, there's still a little bit of whiskey down there in the bottom hanging out in the bacon grease. You know, you, you can't get all of it. I mean, I could probably strain it three or four more times and get more whiskey out, but this is good enough for my purposes. But I did lose more whiskey to the chocolate than to the bacon grease, and the chocolate absolutely smells outrageous and i'm probably going to use a little bit of chocolate in my cocktails when i do cocktails in an upcoming episode but for today we're going to taste the bacon fat washed bourbon and the chocolate fat Woohoo! calm down the chocolate fat washed bourbon and just see how they how they compare and we're gonna like i said use these in some cocktails here shortly so i'm gonna do the bacon one first just because i love bacon i make bacon once a week every sunday morning i try if possible if i'm home if possible i'll try to make uh bacon for a breakfast bacon and eggs every sunday so i love me some bacon and I, what I used for this, um, this won't mean anything to people that aren't in the area that have a Publix, but this is Publix, lower sodium, no sugar added, no, not sugar cured bacon. And, and it's my favorite bacon. I, I don't like it, love super, super salty bacon. And you know, I'm trying to you know, cut down on some sugar, you know, Santa's little chub chub trying to, to control that, but in doing that, I found that this bacon is my favorite bacon to, to cook and eat. So that's what I use to make this. The All of the Lost Monarch is still there, but there is a very distinct bacony flavor. That's trippy, the rye comes through the bacon's totally there. Now, when you're making a cocktail with this, you're not gonna use a lot. This is just a little bit to add flavor, to add a little something, something, something to your cocktail. Now this, in an old fashion, I can imagine would be outrageously good. And that's what I'm gonna do with this one. This is gonna go into an old fashion. Oh. Yeah, the bacon really comes through, and it makes the rye notes a kind of weird, actually. It makes them really round and fluffy and soft. There's nothing sharp about the rye notes. It's super fluffy, like just, uh, that's like the only way I can describe it. it the, the rye is like mush. It like took the rye notes and instead of making them like a complex solid rye note that you can define and and wrap your brain around and it just kind of like made them into a cloud like mush the edges of the rye so that it's just round and and hmm a touch of that in an old-fashioned would be great Would I want to drink it straight? No. No, I don't want to drink it straight. But we're going to see what happens with a touch of that in an old fashioned. Chocolate. Oh my God. So much chocolate came through. Holy heck, that smells like a, like a, not a rum ball, but like a whiskey ball. <sighs> Boozy chocolate. Can you say yes? 
Because I can say yes. Oh my god. That is... Like... Oof. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Touch of that in a Manhattan. Just a little bit. Oh, it's dark and it's rich. The chocolate just plays well. Oh my gosh. That is outrageous. Now, I need, I need to know. Oh my God. There is so much whiskey in that chocolate. Ooh, I'm gonna put that on ice cream. On some vanilla ice cream. Oh wow. Okay, so this is a fascinating experiment. And, and there are other things that you can fat wash with other than just um, these. You can really fat wash with anything, but you want it to be something that's that's thick and fatty and, and, and raunchy like this. <clears throat> and then, you know, use a freezer to separate them after they let, get to a little time to affect each other. But wow, that's really fascinating. I can't wait to make cocktails with this. Oh. I like the chocolate better than the bacon. I think the bacon will go really well in a cocktail, but I don't really want to drink that straight. It's too much bacon. I would probably, if I did that one again, I would probably use even less bacon grease than I did when I did this. And and I, and I didn't use a lot of bacon grease when I did that. It was, it's at least it was at least two parts whiskey to one part bacon grease, and I would even go down to maybe a fourth, a fourth bacon grease and two thirds whiskey. And the next time I try this, but the chocolate, <clears throat> the chocolate came out amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, play with your whiskey. Play with it. You will not go blind. I swear to God. Play with it as much as you want. Play with it when you're alone. Play with it with friends, play with it in front of people, play with it in front of your wife, play with it in front of your boyfriend, play with it in front of your best friend, play with whiskey, you will not go blind, I swear.